let's say that I want to make a, a quick and simple kitchen without the use of a 3D warehouse. I'm going to show you um, some basics for doing that. Uh, so I'm going to start out with a lot of rectangles and push pulling. So let's start with the uh, maybe where the fridge is going to go. So let's put a fridge down here in the corner and maybe make it, I don't know, four foot by four foot. Sure. Okay, we can also make some uh, where the countertop is going to go. So let's say we have a counter next to that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is push pull them to various heights. So the fridge we're going to want a little taller, let's say six feet. I'm just kind of making that up. Uh, and the counter, let's say we're going to go up three feet. Okay, um, you could, if you wanted to, Add a little like handle or something on the side. If you zoom in, it'll let it you make it a little smaller. Um, the other thing you can do is add a lip to where the counter kind of overlaps a little bit. So if you draw um, a rectangle on the top, and again, if you want it to be smaller, zoom in, it'll let you go a little smaller. So you could do something like that and then push pull this forward a little bit if you wanted to add that detail. You could also put some rectangles in the front to make it look like there are um, like doors that open. Um, so let's say we go all the way across like that and then put some lines uh, from there should be a midpoint down to midpoint maybe do with the midpoint of that it's nice to try to make things even if you can. Okay, and then when we paint later, we can paint the surfaces to look more uh, appropriate to what a kitchen would be. You can also add some upper cabinets if you want. So maybe let's put a backsplash here. We could put some tile on the background and then maybe put some upper cabinets. We can push pull this forward, maybe to the same height as that, or sometimes it's a little further back. But we could do something like that and put doors in the front of that as well. All right, I'm going to push this back a little bit. All right, let's say we want to make a sink. You can use the rectangle tool or the circle tool or something and uh, draw something on our surface here where you want your sink to be and then use push-pull to lower it. 